Please welcome to me, man. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he True. might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. False. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had you. visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became H3. more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited you the, age now. <laughs> the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Well, let's see here. If I configure the... Hold on. Greetings! Welcome back to Maine. I'm the King Devil Rex Mecca. Welcome to Quantum Conundrum. If you hadn't already guessed... I am going to turn down that brightness because that is too damn bright. <clears throat> Very much so. So I'm gonna just gonna turn that down to about half. That should be. Ah, oh, there we go. That should be good enough. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Look around right stick. Yeah. Oh. You're here? Yes, I am. I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Oh, good! Fortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Ah. Move around left stick. No kidding. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Sure. How do I get to the foyer? Press button with X. Good. Oh, you confounded machine. Hey, I'm like a thing! Whee! <laughs> uh oh. What was that? What Uncle? Was that? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. What was that? Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door. Ha! Did I put that? What? Oh, What's going on? No, 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 no. What's going on? Ah! Uh oh. Whoa! My luggage! Whoa! 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 My luggage! It popped! Uh... Uncle? What just happened? Good question! Uh oh. I'm just gonna... Slightly... Turn up the volume here. Or volume? The brightness. A couple notch... Uh, two or three notches should do it. All right. Security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and hello. You you, you can hear me, right? Yes. Come around a bit if you can. Yeah. It's feel I feel like I'm playing Portal again. Whoa. It seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Hold on. That. That doesn't not look right. All right. All right. I most certainly can do. Oh God, that looks horrendous. Okay, I'm gonna change it back. Can you put it back to about half? Yeah, there we go. Sorry if you guys can't see anything, but I can't. There. Huh. Oh, there we go! Finally, some light. Now, what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? Yes. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Ah. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Oh, good! Oh, good! Anyway! Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. 
I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Okay. Saying what I'm saying here, this game is fantastic. And I'm playing this because I want to have a bit of a break before I get started on Battle for Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob SquarePants, by the way. Battle for Bikini Bottom. And this game is fantastic. And where I played the Portal games, that sensitivity looks actually fairly good. Fairly decent. I don't need to do anything to sensitivity on this, otherwise it would be too fast. But because I played the Portal games, I figured I would play another game that was based on Portal. Not, well, inspired by Portal. Portal inspired this game. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should this be one? able to restart the manor's power grid. Sure! Those statues look really creepy. <clears throat> I wonder if I should be able to fiddle with the brightness a little bit more. There we go. Just to draw it back one more notch. Ugh. Let's see if that does anything. <clears throat> I'll restore power to this soon. But we're going to have to go by whatever light we can get for now. Because I don't want to go messing with this. There's a button here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Switch there. Ooh, level select. But this one? <gasps> well, that wasn't as effective as I had hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Ooh, VHS Just, tapes. Uh, take the glove in the box a button. with you. I wish you could see my face button right now, as I am not pleased. What this glove holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get button. Up. You know, because it's a glove. A button. <laughs> Button. Oh, find blueprint tubes to open your uncle's research development lab. Okay, so I gotta go. If you can access the generator through the here, each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. Ooh, look at all these mustaches. The did unlock the blue wing. Just what it says. Well, mustaches. I suppose you should start there first. Those aren't mustaches, you liar. These mustaches have goatees attached to them, and this one has a soul patch. You liar, uncle. You liar. Uncle Q, well, Quadrangle, but Q for short, and he is jo played by John Delancey, so, yeah, yay. <laughs> I must tell you, my latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. I, I mean, visited. I uh, couldn't be helped, boy. My mother, she, I don't know. What? By the way, what is his main character's backstory, anyway? Pressed A when I wanted to press X. Ooh, lanternfish. On a plate? Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying uh, for several generations are rifts. Hall of Wonders! In various dimensions. Ah! I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts oh, that can be widened enough to travel through. Ooh! Jetpack! Anything on the jetpack? Uh, jetpack was from the first cutscene. Was from the cutscene uh, when it was depicted when he was one years old, and this is when he was three. The ice, the, the ice gun, which I believe I remember correctly. Yeah, he is twelve in this one. As you most likely should be. I think. Pew! <laughs> break all the vases! You were supposed to break! I'll break you! Ah! Where's the other one? Did the other one break? Uh. This is supposed to. It's malfunctioned. His past inventions have malfunctioned. Oh well. Time to can do upstairs. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Ooh. Excellent. Excellent. Look at all these books. 
This one's called... Hold on, hold on, I'll get it. Ah, for Pete's sake. Ah! It's called... The Man in the... Iron Mask. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. Nice job using periodic table of elements to do something. The Call of the Wind Binomial. <laughs> the Call of the Wild Binomial. <laughs> Cute. <clears throat> anyway, then I continue on. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. There is a head here. Helmets, can I wear one of those? This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Is it? Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, whatever your name is. Open the door! Bastard. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility. What? And the distance it can be from a receptacle. In uh, okay. Direction. What would that be? What? That's the limitations, but, uh... A shift in perspective. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I have only recently beaten this game while this I was is such an early sick. Experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with a drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Okay. <clears throat> There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which okay. in this case is a fluffy dimension. Yay! Everything's all springy! Doors open! Because everything is tense. <laughs> oh god, that's so funny! Oh god! <laughs> Though that Woo! looks like a regular stage, ah! it is in fact a portable kinetic... Fahaz! Brett. Thank you! Well now, this is fun. This looks really fun. Vaz! Break the Vaz! Ha! <laughs> can I break this lamp? Boom! Yep, I can break the lamp. <laughs> this and most of this game is a pro it's probably gonna be me looking around for things to shatter. <laughs> There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Desmond. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. But, uh, let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain. Okay. Yay! Yay! Stairs. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Ooh, okay. Woo! That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Sure! Oh. <laughs> cool! Off I go! Oh. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manner are magnified by the state uh, of energy from the this one called. receptacle and batteries. The um, Mansfield Pulsar. Pulsar. This is Henry VIII. Henry the Eighth. Yeah. And the Mansfield Pulsar again. But you don't have very much of a variation of books, do you? 
This is a solid one. <laughs> this is fun. Thank you all so much for joining this experience. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and raise hell. This game is really fun. Subscribe to see more videos, and I'll see you in the world. So long.